Has anyone heard of Tesla? Yes? You want one? Oh, yes. <laughs> so Tesla, uh, an electric vehicle company in Palo Alto, uh, they just went public. And they got an unbelievable valuation, which is great. Um, they run, it's a fully electric vehicle. They run on a 53 kilowatt hour battery, no oil. Uh, they have a range of 244 miles, and they go from zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. I mean, the torque in this thing is just unbelievable. Um, and, but before I talk more about Tesla, let me tell you why an electric vehicle is superior, all else being equal, to uh, a gas vehicle, an internal combustion engine vehicle. It's what tech folks would call disruptive. So an electric vehicle is five times more energy efficient. In fact, your car, your gasoline car, uh, only burns, only turns 20% of the gasoline energy into mechanical power, 20%. So 80% is wasted. The EV flips that. In fact, an electric vehicle uses 80% of the energy to 88%. The Tesla actually uses 88%. So it only wastes 10 to 20%. So it flips that, equa uh, that equation. It's also five times cheaper to maintain. If you see one of these cars, it's, it's unbelievable how sparse. I mean, they have no drivetrain. It's flat. It's a flat car with an electric motor. So the fact that it doesn't have the thousands of parts that a, an internal combustion engine vehicle means that it's much easier, five to 10 times easier to maintain. And in fact, an, an electric motor can last for decades with very little maintenance. And last but not least, an electric vehicle is five to 10 times cheaper at today's prices to fill up than a gasoline engine. Today, you can power that Tesla for five bucks, five bucks compare that to what we pay for oil. So all these put together mean that the electric vehicle, when they reach about the same price as the gasoline car, they're gonna take over. There's no two ways about it. People are gonna make the right financial decision, which is to buy an electric vehicle. But here's the problem. Who can afford the, road, the Tesla? The Tesla is $100,000. That's not my car, by the way. Uh, I'm just filling it up. Uh, let me introduce you to a Chinese car company called BYD, which has announced the E6, which has a battery that is just about the same size as the Tesla, so 48 uh, kilowatt hour, range 250 miles, which is pretty good, you can power it at home. So if you have a washer and a dryer, which uses 220, you can power this thing. So pretty much most of Americans can. Um, and you can charge half of it, 50% of the battery, in 10 minutes. So this thing about it taking 12 hours and whatnot, in 10 minutes, you can charge half of it. The other half will take hours, but the first half will take 10 minutes. How much is this car? $40,000. $40,000. Hmm, exactly, right? It's still a little expensive, but you know, it's, it's coming down in price very, very quickly. So the mass migration from gasoline cars, from internal combustion engine vehicles to electric vehicles is gonna happen when the cost of uh, uh, the EVs go down by 50%. So we need a 20, $25,000 car, yes? Um, so the problem, the reason that EVs are expensive is that batteries are expensive. 
Batteries are 50% of the cost, maybe more, of electric vehicles. So if we look at the cost curve for batteries, for lithium ion batteries, they're dropping by 8% per year in cost. Uh, sorry. Basically, they're going to drop 56% by 2020. So the migration from gasoline cars to electric vehicles will happen by 2020 if current trends persist. If current trends persist. Now, we are increasing investments in batteries. Uh, every major car company is. Every country in the world, every major university is increasing uh, uh, investments in, in electricity storage. And not just lithium ions, but all kinds, nanowire, supercapacitors, you name it. It's all being looked at right now, which means that the cost curve is going to go down further, just like it did for solar, solar photovoltaics. So let me make this assumption. If the cost curve goes down by 12% instead of 8%, what's going to happen? Costs are going to go down 50% by 2016, which means that the mass migration from gasoline cars is going to start in six years. And they're going to drop in price by 90% by 2028, which means three things. And I'll leave you with these three thoughts. One, the mass migration from gasoline to electric is going to start sometime between 2016 and 2020. If current trends persist, we don't need any breakthroughs. Two, the last commercial vehicle that runs gasoline will be built in 2028, which is only 18 years out. Because by then, the cost curve will be just unbelievable of the current cost curve. And three, oil will be obsolete following these trends by 2030. We will have made a migration from the gasoline car to the electric vehicle by 2030. Thank you.